Arlene, host of the television talk show, Ask Arlene, which airs on Thursdays at 6.30. And as a business consultant and life coach, I help you to move forward in your business, project, or endeavor. So have you always wanted to write a book, but you just haven't seemed to get started? Or you always wanted to 10x that business that you already have, expand it to the next level? You know exactly what you need to do, but you just haven't done it? Well, I've already purchased all the courses, read all the books, the Tony Robbins, all sorts. I have several degrees, including a master's degree and credits toward a doctorate. I've sat with and met celebrities and done the networking. And what I've realized is what I really needed was a mastermind group of people working toward my project, my business, or my endeavor. So what I've done is met with coaches and met with experts and put them together to work on your project. So join us today for our Mastermind Networking Group. I'll see you there. Click the link below and join us. Hi, I'm Arlene, host of this television show. It's a pleasure to join you again. And today I have five quick tips on how to win at the game of life during COVID-19. So we have been talking about several ways that you can start your business and expand your business, but this is a special time. And I want everyone to be thinking about how to begin this process. And we're going to start with number five and go to the most important one, which is number one. So a couple of years ago, I started in this industry because my mom passed away and I was really stuck. And I had a pretty successful job and in another state and I got fired from the job. And so I was really stuck. So I started this book or wrote this book, it's called How to Overcome Fear, Get Unstuck, and Live Your Best Life. I started meeting with coaches. I started getting trained as to how to be a coach because I found that coaching was very helpful. So today I'm gonna give you five quick coaching tips as to how you can win now at the game of life during COVID. Step number five, you should see it down below. Listen guys, you've gotta unplug. I know it sounds crazy because everyone's glued to the TV set. Thousands died today. Millions died across the world. This is not an excellent way of winning at the game of life. First things first, turn off that TV set. Turn off the news. Stop watching it. Why are we watching all of these negativisms? Now, these things may be true, but is that going to help your state of mind? Is that going to enhance you in any way, shape, or form in terms of you going about your daily life? Especially yesterday, I don't usually watch the news, but yesterday I was watching the news and it was talking about what was going on in Florida. And they were talking about all the children who had died. Now, anybody who knows me loves knows that I love children. <laughs> children are my life. <laughs> I think they're the most beautiful, innocent creatures ever. And it was talking about how many thousands of kids have died during COVID. So that wasn't going to enhance my mood. That wasn't going to help me to do the things that I needed to do in order to prosper. So turn it off. Unplug it if you have to unplug it because you're so accustomed to just going and turning on it, turning it on and clicking. And you know what's ironic that I saw? I heard Oprah Winfrey talking and it was an interview and actually they cut off the interview where she was talking about how she doesn't have a television set in her home and that the reason why she doesn't have a television set is because she wants to have positive energy exuding and the television set 
and they cut her off, guys. They cut her off because she does a television show. So all of the people who are supporting her product are watching her on television. Well, now she's on the internet, so you don't have to watch her on television. But I'm saying even the greats, the people who are making their money on television aren't sitting watching television. So maybe, just maybe, take this advice and try it. Unplug, turn off that news, turn off the programs that you know are talking about COVID-19 and how terrible and disastrous it is and we should all run for the hills. Okay, so that's number five, unplug. Number four, which is in line with unplugging that television set, <laughs> is that you should and I should, and I don't like should, but we endeavor to keep our eyes on the prize, just like that civil rights documentary said, keep your eyes on the prize. Well, when it comes to dealing with this thing called COVID-19, we need to keep our eyes on the prize. So what is it that you are accomplishing in this time? What new venture are you a part of? What new project, what new organization are you looking to be a part of? Whether it's writing that book, whether it's starting that business, whether it's 10Xing the business you already have. The idea is keep your eyes on the prize, okay? Focus on where we wanna go, but not the rear view mirror. And they say that God gave us two eyes in the front of our heads and he gave us nothing in the back because we're not supposed to be looking behind us in the rear view mirror. Or if you're in the car, if you notice, the idea is that you shouldn't have to turn around and look, okay? The rear view mirror, the one on the side is really, really small, but the windshield is big. The idea being we're supposed to keep our eyes forward, keep our eyes on the prize. Where are we going? What do we want to accomplish? How are we going to get there? All of those tools, remember the tools and techniques and the secrets, the 10 secrets that I've given you in other videos? Watch the 10 secrets so you know what you're supposed to be doing while you're focusing and keeping your eyes forward, okay? So remember we talked about writing the plan, making it plain. We talked about visualizing where you're going. We talked about the all these different things, 10 secrets. Watch that video. But the idea is keep our eyes on the prize. Focus on where we're going, not on where we have been. Now this is so important. Some people say, well, I already know that. You know, I know I'm not supposed to think about the past, but even while we're saying we're not supposed to think about the past, we're thinking about the past. So the people, the relationships, the friendships, the people who passed away during COVID-19, the jobs that we left prior to COVID-19, let us unplug from those things and keep our eyes on the prize, looking forward, pressing forth toward those things which are before us, okay? And forgetting those things which are behind. That's a proverb. So we're gonna press forward and forget the things that are behind us. And some people say, well, I can't forget. I have to focus on the things that happened in the past so that I can still stay angry. <laughs> well, you can if you want, or we can try something different. So they say the definition of insanity, my friends, is doing the same thing the same way and expecting a different result. So what we're going to do in order to live our best life is to focus. Okay, so today we're not talking so much about the psychology. We're just talking about the practical tools. So even though that stuff might be there, watch another video that tells you how to deal with that stuff. But today we're saying, Focus, keep your eyes on the prize. Where are you going? What do you want to accomplish? What is it that you're endeavoring to do? Talk about that, see that, focus on that, discuss that, okay? So if it's expansion of the business and you're watching YouTube videos, because now remember you've unplugged from the news, you're not watching that stuff. So you're watching my videos about how to overcome fear, get unstuck and live your best life. Or you're watching other videos about that business project or endeavor and how to expand it. Where energy goes, energy flows. So whatever we're focused on is what we're giving energy to. And whatever we give energy to is what's going to expand in our lives. So when I was interested in getting into politics, I ate it, slept it, breathed it. Somebody said, you should know what these people eat for breakfast. <laughs> and let me tell you guys, as crazy as it sound, sounded, I knew what those people were eating for breakfast. Like I was on it. If something moved in the political arena, I was there. Okay. So focus, 
on the prize. Look to the things that you want, forgetting those things which are behind. Okay, let's move on. Secret number three. And remember, we're going down to the most important one. If you stay with us at the end, I'm going to give you a little prize. I'm going to give you a gift. So we're talking about how to overcome fear, get unstuck, live our best lives, and win at the game of life, even now, even now during COVID-19. So what's one of the major things we need to do? Be creative. Be calm. <laughs> relax. <laughs> be confident. So which one of those is number three? Stay calm and relax, OK? Remember to breathe. <laughs> When we breathe deeply, it helps us to stay calm. So if you're feeling stressed, you're feeling worried, you're feeling anxious, you're suffering from any of those psychoses that, is, that are as a result of the COVID-19 stressors, I want you to breathe. <sighs> stay calm. Relax. Okay? And know that whatever it is, it's going to work out eventually. Can I say that there will no longer be COVID-19? No, but I can tell you that we are learning more and more how to work through it and how to deal with it, okay? So maybe it's not going anywhere and we have to work through it. Okay, so we're wearing our masks, we're social distancing, and we're getting more calm because we're becoming more accustomed to this pandemic. We're not hugging each other. So I have a, a friend and we went out and he proceeded to hug and Okay, he'd say he didn't kiss, but I would say hug and kiss this other person. Now is not the time for hugging and kissing, okay? <laughs> Stay calm, relax, wear your mask, social distance if you have to, if you're around people that you know um, you need to social distance with, social distance, even so, and just relax and have fun like you used to before, okay? Just without the hugging and kissing, that's all. It's ever so important that we relax and breathe during this season and stop talking about it. Let's change our dialogue to reflect the things that we want instead of having our dialogue talk about how bad COVID-19 is. Like, okay, last year, 2020, I understand because it was new and we'd never heard about it and, you know, we were all inside. But now, 2021, okay, we know about it. I'm suggesting to you that during this season, while you're expanding your business, while you're building that network marketing uh, program, take a deep breath and relax, <laughs> okay? And um, another story, if you're looking for, well, we'll move on. Okay, number two. Oh, before we go to number two and number one, which are the two most important, let's take a quick break. <laughs> We need a quick break and we're going to come back and I'm going to give you the last two quick tips, essential tips. Hi, I'm Arlene, host of the television talk show, Ask Arlene, which airs on Thursdays at 630. And as a business consultant and life coach, I help you to move forward in your business project or endeavor. So have you always wanted to write a book, but you just haven't seemed to get started? or you always wanted to 10X that business that you already have, expand it to the next level. You know exactly what you need to do, but you just haven't done it? Well, I've already purchased all the courses, read all the books, the Tony Robbins, all sorts. I have several degrees, including a master's degree and credits toward a doctorate. I've sat with and met celebrities and done the networking. And what I've realized is what I really needed was a mastermind group of people working toward my project, my business, or my endeavor. So what I've done is met with coaches and met with experts and put them together to work on your project. So join us today for our mastermind networking group. I'll see you there. Click the link below and join us. Hi. Okay. So we're back. The last two and most important secrets. So we said you should, number two, it was be creative, <laughs> be unreasonable, be unique, be different. Okay. What do I mean be unreasonable? So many of us have followed the program and followed the protocol in accordance with what we've been told to do. I'm here to give you permission today to be wildly unreasonable, okay? 
do something different than you've done before. This is an opportunity, a golden opportunity to do, to be different and to try something new. And you can always blame it on COVID-19 if it doesn't work out, okay? So this is an opportunity, those things that you've always wanted to do that it just wasn't the right time, it just wasn't appropriate because you were too busy. You can try it now, guys. Because of COVID-19, we have an excuse. Anything goes, anything's worth a shot. So be creative, think outside the box. And as I always say, the irony is that there is no box, <laughs> okay? There is no box. And so many of us are under the faulty impression that we need to you know, follow the rules. And it's unfortunate, I'm gonna share this with you. Any of the major things that I've accomplished, I probably haven't accomplished them by following all the rules. I'm not saying don't follow any rules, like go out and, and be completely reckless, but be a little bit unreasonable. It's okay, because these are unreasonable times. These are creative times. So take a minute, take a pen to paper, and figure out some creative methodology through which you can begin earning. So yes, you have your nine to five, you have your beautiful uh, position, and it helps you to take care of your family and your responsibilities. But I am empowering you to be creative and do that thing that's always been on your heart, that's always been on your mind, in your head, but you were maybe too afraid to start it or too shy to start it. Um, if it's something you want to be a speaker, I have a program. It's called the 10 Secrets or 10 Steps to, what is the, the program? Oh, being a, a master speaker. Yes, how to be a master speaker, a world-class speaker. And then I have 10 secrets to being a public speaker. So you can invest in that and do that. Maybe that's a direction that you've always wanted to go. And everybody now has something that they can speak on. Everybody has some gift, talent, wisdom that you can share with others. Maybe you're a very good parent. And now is the opportunity for you to share with other parents how they can be better parents. During COVID-19, so many people had to homeschool their kids, in which case the kids were home. <laughs> in which case that camaraderie with the family or that community with the family, the relationship, that's what I want to say, with the family was 10 times more magnified because people didn't know what to do. If you had a bad relationship with the family, now everybody's home, it's magnified. People either got married because they were wanting company or people got divorced because they really were spending too much time with their spouses and they really didn't appreciate the time. So maybe your thing is helping people to build relationships, marital relationships, how to stay together, or perhaps how to find the person that you think you should be with. There's so many things that you know in your mind that you've either experienced or you've just been born being very good at it. And the secret is that it's something probably your, your friends always come to you with. They're like, oh, how do you do such and such, Jim? How do you do such and such, William? And they're always asking you for help in that particular area. Well, here's your opportunity mm -hmm. to see if you can expand financially in that particular area. Start coaching in that particular area. And if you don't know how to do it, contact me and we'll help you. <laughs> okay? My team and I specialize in that. We want you to win at the game of life, even now during COVID-19. This is the time. So there is the Japanese word that is equivalent to stress and it means opportunity. So this COVID-19 is an opportunity for us to expand. It's an opportunity for us to relax and expand. Be creative in that area or in that realm that you've always wanted to investigate. So like I said, oh, we also have a program that I know about that helps people to make money. And it's the next, it's like the next YouTube, but it's YouTube for live conversations. So instead of you just sitting and watching the video like you're doing, you actually interact with the people live and it's a whole group. And it's a money-making venture. I'm saying there's so many things that we can do if we just begin to be creative. So the same way Mark Zuckerberg came up with Facebook and Elon Musk said, I'm going to do the bus to the moon. You And this guy, who's a regular person, has just started another social media platform you can begin that project or venture as well. So I want you to contact us and make sure that you get started and begin because the hardest thing is to start. 
and then you can build momentum, which leads me to the last secret, which is the most important secret that all of the successful people know. I was listening to a talk yesterday. I don't know how many of you have heard of, um, what's his name, Jim Rohn. But this guy was the marketing person for Jim Rohn. And you know, I do marketing. I help coaches to expand their businesses and build their products. Um, so this gentleman was telling us a story about a gentleman who was very dedicated in the Jim Rohn community. And he was just doing everything, doing everything. He was just relentless, okay, and confident. That's also one of the steps. Um, I told you about staying calm and relaxing. Here's a bonus step, being confident in the project, being confident, okay? And so this guy was confident and they trained him <laughs> as a coach. And the guy is today Tony Robbins. Okay, so he learned from the expert and the expert was Jim Rohn. So what is secret number five? Secret number five is learn from the experts, okay? So if I wanna go to the hairdresser, okay? People are always talking about my hair. If I wanna go to a hairdresser and I wanna learn about how to be a hairdresser, then I'm gonna talk to hairdressers. I'm gonna talk to people who are already in that industry and crushing it, right? My grandmother has been to hairdressers, but she may not be the best person for me to talk to. And all too often, guys, what happens? We talk to the people who are around us about what we want to do, about our goals, our dreams, and our visions, and they say, mm -hmm. well, that sounds really risky. You say you wanna make a million dollars? Hmm. Well, if the person you're talking to hasn't made a million dollars, they're looking at your prospect as risky. However, if you're talking to the person who has a million dollar business or a multi-million dollar business and you say, I wanna make $1 million, they're like, okay, <laughs> how are you gonna go about doing it? Or maybe your million is not in your business. You have a million dollars worth of investments, okay? And so you're worth a million dollars. I was talking to a gentleman and he said, oh, lots of people have millions if you look at it in terms of investment. But even within this community, many of the people who are business owners have made a million dollars in their business and that's nothing. So if you're around people who are already experts that are already doing it, then the likelihood that you're doing it is so much more feasible. If you're around people who are not doing it and not crushing it in the area that you want to be in, then they look at what you're saying as foolish. So I shared this before. I worked in politics. I worked on President Obama's campaign. I worked for several elected officials. And at one juncture, I was a director of career development at a college. And the person who was my spouse at the time, I said, you know, I want to work in politics. And the person said to me, oh, you're having visions of grandeur. That's impossible. In essence, it can't be done. Well, the reason why he told me it couldn't be done was because he hadn't done it. He wasn't a terrible person. He just hadn't done it. <laughs> so it didn't seem feasible to him. So we have to continue or begin to have the conversations with people who have done the things and accomplished the things that we want to accomplish. And that way they can share with us how feasible it is. Now, let's say you don't have somebody who has earned millions in their business, but you have somebody who's earned millions. Okay, talk to that person because at least they can see the feasibility of you mm -hmm. moving forward. And maybe they can connect you with somebody who has made millions in their business, if that's your goal or your vision. Or maybe your, your vision, like I said, might be to open a daycare center. In which case, it has nothing to do with making millions. It has to do with connecting with somebody who's opened a daycare center. And I know because I help people to start businesses that the process is quite tedious. Once you're doing it, you're doing it. But in terms of all of the paperwork and the, the sessions that you have to attend, it's rather tedious. But if you're talking to somebody who's done it or you're talking to somebody who's helped people to do it like myself, mm -hmm. then we can break it down and make it that much more feasible. Okay, guys, so our time is coming to an end. Uh, we only have a couple of minutes before the credits, but I wanna run, give you the rundown again of what we need to do. When it comes to talking to the experts though, the last thing that I wanna tell you about is Oprah Winfrey and her having a coach. She has a coach. Elon Musk has a brain coach. Um, President Obama has a coach. <laughs> Can you imagine? He's so successful and yet he still has a coach. All of the successful people that you're looking at, thinking about in whatever industry it is, 
they all have coaches. So during COVID-19, my to do for you is to find an expert in the field, somebody that can come alongside you and support you and hold you up in accountability in achieving that goal or that creative project or that endeavor today. Okay, go online and search or contact me and let me help you to find somebody. It doesn't have to be me, but we have a plethora of coaches and people that are helping others to move forward during this time of COVID. So thank you so much to all of you for listening to the five tips. And there are several other videos that you can watch by me that talk about the specific 10 secrets to overcoming fear, getting unstuck and living your best life. But the most important thing that I'm requesting that you do today is to go online, it'll be below, and get the free gift. It's about the three secrets, the three secrets <laughs> to winning at the game of life in addition to these here. So I want you to type in, go to that link below, type in your email address, and we will send it to you for free. Thank you so much to you for spending the time with us today. Thank you, William. Thank you, Rahman. Thank you. And we're asking you to share this video with somebody else that you know is being impacted by COVID-19 and has an, and give them this opportunity to free themselves from fear mm -hmm. and doubt. And number two, I would like you to, in addition to sharing it, ask them also to subscribe so that you'll know when new shows are afoot. So see you again next week, Thursday. Thank you much. Bye. Ooh. Name some things I'll be without you, good. Stop the growth, I bet you think you could. Said you gon' leave me, man, I wish you would. Yeah, I'm different, so I misunderstood. So I'ma always be good. Said I'ma always be good. What would you say if I told you the people you're missing won't call you again? What would you say if I told you the people around you don't stick to the end? New vibes and different faces, life is all in different faces. How can you fly away if the people around you still got you in cages? You need empire, get the empress, yeah, yeah. Cop your kingdom, lead offenses, yeah, yeah. Keep the facts, I hate pretenders, yeah. No days off, I got perfect attendance. No vacation trips, I don't pay for this. So it's only right I stay with this. Me, y'all can hate on this. Past 180, that's my... Name some things I'll be without you, good. Stop the growth, I bet you think you could. Said you gon' leave me, man, I wish you would. Yeah, I'm different, so I'm misunderstood. So I'ma 